Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, so we're gonna do all my animals today. I was gonna start with Bruno. Riley's about to knock over light. Riley, can you get down? Get down. Uh, anyways, I was gonna start with Bruno, but his tank's too fucking high, and audio I'm sure was garbage. So we'll put him later. We'll do him. This guy first. This is uh, Babe, the Western Hog notes, uh, nicknamed Pick uh, Pissy, but um. Just like the dude from Exotic Lair, he calls this song Ghost Pissy too. That's where I got it from. He's funny. I like that guy. Um, but we're gonna take out all the substrate, find him, um, and then clean his shit up. And give him substrate and everything else. So let's start by taking this stuff out. Now we just gotta find this bastard. He's elusive as fuck. Oh, there he is, right there. What's up, bro? Oh, see, there it is. But they're cool because they hood up like a autofocus. Focus on this guy. But they curl up, go on their backs, uh, they play dead, and they hood up a little bit, like a little mini cobra. Uh, he's a lot of fun. He doesn't like interaction much. He spends most of his time underground. He needs a good soaking though. So that's what he's going to get. Bring the phone back over here. Sit on top. And now we just gotta clean out the substrate. This way. But for him, I use this stuff called for Forest Floor Bedding by like Zoomed or some shit. And I give him quite a bit of it. It settles a little. And he likes. And you can't set them on top of it, you have to put them It doesn't fucking matter. Here we fucking go. This one here. He doesn't really climb, but uh, I like to give him the option. I feel. Now, if he wants to, we fucking can't, man. Put even more of this in here. He spends most of his time on the ground. So you want to give them all this underground space, you know?
So we can go ahead and put his water bowl back in. Now they're all clean. And uh, I'm gonna put this cork back in, but I'm not going to put back in his hide because he absolutely positively does not use it. So there's no point in it being there and it takes a lot of space. And I can put it somewhere else. Plan on getting more animals as soon as I move. Because that's how I am. Take Pissy back out. Oh, you big mad, huh? Oh, you'll be okay, Pissy. There you go. I'm just gonna sit there and hiss. Oh, he's upside down like that. There you go, buddy. You'll be okay. I guess we can talk about the Danny thing a little bit. I'm not going back, um, ever. I don't want to. It's not a good fit for anybody. Um, not a big fan of Danny anymore. Uh, that was where I got my name to begin with, Finn Jerry. Not a fan. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna do my own thing and branch out with many new people or do other stuff. I'm not sure yet exactly. But let's put him back fill up his water bowl, and get another animal. Well, clean his cage. We got a nice little water soak down here, so he can um, soak. You're supposed to do that with your reptiles, supposedly. Uh, I shouldn't say supposedly. I do kind of know what I'm doing. I'm taking care of animals forever. Um, but <laughs> it's way more fun to pretend you don't know. So this is Bruno. This is my bearded dragon. It's probably like two... Maybe three years old by now. I don't know. He's getting big. He came on a bowl too big. What's up, Broski? So this is Bruno. He's chilling most of the time. He's definitely a hundred percent in shit in that water because he always shits when I swim. So yeah, but this is Bruno, bearded dragon. Pretty cool guy. Come here, Broski. Now I'm going to start by taking out all the shit and uh, it's going to be cleaned off camera and brought it back when I empty this thing out, but yeah. Start with this nice piece of tree bark. They're pretty semi arboreal so they like to have a little spot to climb. He's about to get another one of these too, which is cool, so we can be on both sides. A little dry food dish. He eats it, he eats mostly leafy greens and crickets, but I like to keep that in there for him. A nice big hide that he can actually fit under. And then just his water bowl. So yeah, he actually is gonna do one of these too. Oh, can go down there. So the rest of this is just substrate that we're gonna replace. So I'm probably just going to uh, time-lapse thing or just skip to when it's done probably that sounds easier Start with his like main substrate. Take this shit. It's called Zilla Bark Blend. I don't fucking know. It's supposed to be good or something. Gotta do the bottom rip though for sure. Oh fuck, I'm out of breath for moving all this shit. Um, yeah, so let's cut into this. This is a Kershaw, pretty nice knife actually, American made. But not sponsored by any of this shit. 
I have had that one sponsor though, which was cool. Apparently it's not very fucking sharp though. Needs more like a sharpener later. Fuck. That was rough. Like a mulch type material. Spray it down so it doesn't dust as much. Special lettuce. It has a little bit more nutrients than like regular lettuce, but not too much. Got the roots. I half ass plant it and he rips it up uh, 24 hours later. And then these fucking rice type plants. And he'll nom on those. He'll probably nom on them as soon as I'm in the cage. He'll rip these up in an hour and throw them around. He's hard with live plants, so that's why I've never done like a bioactive setup or anything. Um, is for that reason. All right, so this last guy is Leo. Uh, I just got him not too long ago. Uh, he is a leopard gecko. Uh, scrap. <laughs> Fuck. Bam. Uh, here you are. This is Leo, he is mid-shed. He does not want to talk, but Leopard Gecko Leo. Pretty cool guy, I like him. He needs to soak also. I just probably realized that there's too much water in this thing for him. Give me a second. So, we can put him back where he belongs. So we're going to put this one in first. Uh, still some in here. There we go. This is his wet tide, moist tide. He needs some humidity in him to feel. And it also goes under his heating mat, which is on that side.
You don't want to be soaked wet. You want to moist. I hate that fucking part. It works so well. For shit like this. You feel? I would say that. Resist. Where is it going to put it? Uh, used to be against this wall, but I don't really like that. So this is the back right here. This way he has more of a way in and out. This will be his dry hide. He can go over here. And then... Water bowl, small lizard, small water bowl, and food bowl. Look at this plant back over here ish. Just go back down if you can. No, there it is. And this one can go over here. Yes, or something. I don't fucking know. It doesn't even hang out enough, but I keep them in there because they look nice. Now we can this poor guy back in here, he's probably pissed cold, he's like, fuck you, fuck you, bro. There you go, there's a new home. And uh, I guess that completes everything. I'm gonna put him back before I put his water and food in, because I'll spill it everywhere and then trip over. But um, yeah, for more random whatever the fuck I wanna do content about, subscribe, or whatever. Um, do what you want, I'm not in charge of you, but uh... <laughs>